These are shots from the, uh, what do they call it, the sky cam? Yeah, there's a look at it. There it goes. Yeah, I think it is the sky cam, yeah, it moves along, guide wires along, yeah. excuse me, above the deck of Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. It's all over the place too. If you go up on the roof, sometimes it whistles past your ear and it's going down towards Louis Armstrong. It's a menace. It's got a mind, I think. Well, someone told me that Pete Sampras saw the shadow of it going across the court and he thought it was a squirrel running across the court. <laughs> yes, people tend to look up at it. It's, uh, it's a fantastic arrangement, actually. There it goes. It's about the word errors at the moment. Second row. Or is that a person? <laughs> And if you can look in the upper sections there, you can see the wave moving around the stadium. And this has been uh, the favorite sideline of the crew that resides up in those top areas. A pretty festive group here tonight. Very. Saturday night, New York, holiday. Well lubricated. I suppose so. And they're having a bit of exercise with the Mexican wave. Mindless occupation, I think. Well, you've got to get up and stretch your feet occasionally. Yeah, uh, just put your hands up. And... <laughs> the Davis Cup final, uh, where was it, down in Nice. The French crowd were doing it so enthusiastically that uh, the umpire, Andy Egley, he, he was forced eventually to join in. He kept telling them to Thank stop, you. but they wouldn't, so he joined in. Good PR. The penalty serves to stay in this first set and take it to a tie break. That is a beautiful shot. A form of off backhand, inside out backhand. And he's Love. bending it also away from the penalty. Rafter loved to be spared the tension of the tie break. You see what he was doing there? He went forward. I don't I shouldn't be here. Maybe I'm here. I'd better go forward. Uh, he did hesitate just a bit. But then decided he had made the right play after all. Paid off. Lapenti love 30. 5-6. First set. He needed first serves in. He's not getting them. Well, that's a cool pass. 15. Well, there wasn't much on the approach shot, really, but uh, I think Rafter was counting on the pressure of the moment more than the, uh, the pace of the shot. at close quarters. 30. No, that was just, uh, that was just good luck. That's all you can say about that. That could have been a couple break points down if he hadn't gotten lucky. Forty, thirty. 
I would have thought Rafter hated that point. He wanted to get to the net, but there was nothing short enough to uh, allow him to go forward. High break it is. Six games off. High break. I just get the feeling the Rafter had plenty of chances to get in there. You know, he just didn't take them. Okay, maybe there wasn't a real short ball, but I think he could have made the charge somewhere in that rally. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, he's such a good volley. Uh, volley in mid-court is no major problem for him. Unless it's on his toes. Well then, been on court for 50 minutes and somebody's going to be disappointed. if you start serving the tiebreak to win that first point. You just have to set it up, and the pressure all shifts to the other end, where he's trying to save two points. Lepenti, love one. So Lepenti gets his two points on serve. The guys will trade two serves. Remember the tiebreaker is first one to seven. The margin of at least two points. <laughs> There's the familiar sorry mate, which famously he once even said to Rios. I think Rios uh, didn't react uh, at all to that. He was probably thinking, good Lord, have I really got a mate? Penty draws first blood, little break a serve here, and he does it nicely with that inside-out two-handed backhand. See, he's pumping his fist, trying to build momentum. Certainly with a chance here now. But again, he had a break here in this set and lost it. He was up 3-2. Now he is up 3-2 in the tiebreaker with a break. Let's see how he handles this. No, 
Now Pat will be aiming to get to the net to try and polish off a point. Yep, and that's it. He didn't have to go to the net. Real. Well, Rafter can drive the ball pretty convincingly off his forehand, and that's why the guys try and stay away from it in those baseline exchanges. You know, off the backhand, he's not going to create that kind of winner. Lepenti gave him a chance, and he took it. Some difference, isn't it? Here, yeah, Leaf crossing over at 4 2 or 2 4 rather than 3 all. Huge difference. Big point here. Lepenti taking his time. Just long, but very close, because there was a load of topspin on that. And that makes sometimes the line judge assess that it's going to be out, when in fact it isn't. Disastrous couple of points for Lepenti. Yeah, really. Uh, th those were not clutch. I mean, this is a great chance now for Rafter. I mean, he's really turned the tables. the point before that one. The three points before that were all broken points. Now Rafa ahead 5-3. Clinical. Three set points for Rafa. 6-3. Absolutely clinical. The first two of these set points will be on the Lepenti serve. Beautiful point again by Rafter. So Rafter saved his best for the end. And what will that do to the South American morale, I wonder? Time. Well, the crowd buzzing after that first set. Just under the R. And a pretty good display by both men, but Rafter really saving uh, his beautiful serve volley tactics and played them just clinically during that tie break. He was the first one to be broken. I thought he was going, but boy, did he ever come back with a vengeance. In fact, subsequently, I just realized, Leaf, that he took all the all the Lepenti service points. He was broken for 2-3. He then broke back for 3-all. He broke again for 4-3. After a couple of serves, and then he broke again for the final point of the thing. So that is some some play against the Lepenti serve. Second set. 50. And, and that's what I talked about with Lepenti. I mean, he, he doesn't really have that big overpowering serve. You know, I think he can get to it. And in, in, in the clutch, the best players take care of their serve, and uh, Lepenti really hasn't done that. How do you feel about the uh, rafter return of serve? You know, there's sometimes there's no backswing at all, is there? He just blocks it back, almost like a volley. 